think mm-hmm. too. Anyway, um, going going back, I'm being very sensible this week because I'm talking about con- content marketing and Creative Commons and messing about. I'm um, also being very serious well, and stra- better, straightforward. You first of all, explain why why maybe last week you weren't not you weren't ex- um, sensible, and this week you are. <laughs> this is what we need to know. Well, I'm I'm, I'm in a low risk environment, right? Because we, the, the question, you are the producer, so you, you actually are the person yes, to I'm ask about to, I'm this. I'm trying to divide, I'm coming from, oh, Chris has just fallen off the floor. Um, <laughs> so, 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 look, so, so look, my point of view is um, there's three main acts are going to be in the after party on the mm-hmm. evening of the um, uh, street art festival. So I think it's fair enough to find the sound wherever it's available. For example, YouTube or SoundCloud or wherever. And replay it on the radio because we're we're mm-hmm. promoting that event, and they won't mind. But in general terms, can we just borrow sound from streaming platforms because they all have these terms and conditions that you sign your life away on? You always tick the box, don't you? But what does that mean? And I think the reality comes from when you come with your own sound effects. Ah, your own <laughs> interpretation of life. Yes. Yes, your own coffee to your granulated, <laughs> percolated... My take on life. You know, of life, you know, so because it's totally different to, shall we say, of what Chris's interpretation of life is or my interpretation of life is. Yes. My interpretation yes, is but, <laughs> but if I was to just talk away for a couple of hours about my views on life, on a radio station... Uh, well, we don't the, have to take, where the audience is ex- have to take them, you see. Oh, no, you don't have to... No, no, but uh, your, your, uh, your uh, passion for observation is probably good. So let's oh, it's just, it is good. Yes, yeah, it's very good. But I think we've got... We, we, um, what's the, what are they called? The off... 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 off st- not off... St- Ofcom. Ofcom. <laughs> Ofcom. They've got it in mind. Um, roughly 15% original conversation. So that must mean about 85% music. Wouldn't you think? But where does it come from? Right. How is it paid for? I think that fifty. Sorry. iTunes. <laughs> you, well, that's where we get into possible difficulties, Chris. Are those streams? <laughs> yes, yes. But are we allowed to use them all? No. I, I think if if um, I pay for it. Yeah, I know you pay for it. But if we start putting it on the radio, I'm yeah. not sure. Anyway, um, I'm. Uh, there is a new CD out from Gretchen Peters mm. and she is going to be next uh, um, next May mm. uh, not in the Phoenix she used to be coming she used to come to the Phoenix mm-hmm. but now she's at the Corn Exchange mm-hmm. which is a very good venue they, ha- they have tables to put your drink on you know there they may not be available on that occasion because they may have filled up the space with selling more tickets but could I go to YouTube, do you think, Mr. Producer, and nick the stuff she's put up there? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. So there are exclusive tracks Yeah. Uh, ahead of this you new can, release. You can listen to them. I can listen to them. And enjoy them. Right. But to nick them... Yes, and play to, them on the radio. To ask her whether she minds being the me nicked. <laughs> yes, that's what I thought. Yes. So it's a good job I haven't done that. No, that's right. Whereas we will have to report you to the police. Okay. You, you spend a night in the cells. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. OK, but fortunately, yeah. or unfortunately, I say I think it's actually unfortunate mm. that the um, Exeter City Library have got rid of all their CDs and DVDs. Right. You can go there and you can buy them for a pound mm. or three pound for a box set. Mm. And then I think you must look after them. <laughs> and somewhere in Exeter, there must be collected knowledge. There's on probably a care home somewhere around for CDs, <laughs> and you have to go and report to them, and they give you an AOK that you've been looking after them. I think that's a good idea because Is that a good idea. Well, well, <laughs> the the city library had, or the Devon County libraries mm. between them, had a uh, quite a good collection, very interesting set of information about all this stuff. Mm. They got all the liner notes and everything. Um, which has been scattered around. Mm. So somehow it ought to be re- reformulated. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyway, I think we've been talking quite long enough now. 
do we have? I'm going to take an executive yes, decision. As a producer, I think you should put some. And people. fortunately, I was able to buy there um, mm -hmm. a CD called "Hello, Cruel World," mm -hmm. and this song about a matador is in a live version mm -hmm. on this CD that we've heard about mm -hmm. via YouTube, but are not able to play at this time. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to play this um, matador. Mm -hmm. 